is Big Yona. Yona Knight Wisdom representing Jamaica. Dives out of Edinburgh to be in Leeds. My name is Yona Knight Wisdom. I am out here in Tokyo, Japan, and it is the 5th of May, and I've just qualified for the Olympic Games for my second Olympic Games. I'm going to try and put my feelings right now into words. I don't know how well that's going to go because it's honestly incredible. It's an incredible, incredible feeling, especially with what we've gone through over the last 12 months or slightly more. You know, it's been a tough, tough period of time from the announcement of the cancellation in, I think it was about March 2020 of the original World Cup and the cancellation of the Olympics in 2020 as well. Going into lockdown, having to spend about four months training from my really small flat in Edinburgh, doing somersaults in the flat and having to bend my arms on certain ones because if I had straightened them, I'd touch the roof. Finding ways to stay fit, stay motivated, stay healthy, even being locked basically at home no pool to training. It was a real psychological and physical challenge for me and the rest of my team. Fortunately, I was surrounded by a group of awesome people. I had a, a really, really good coach who helped me and the rest of the team get through it with so much positivity so that when we were able to get back in the pool, we didn't have to play catch up. You know, we were ready to go getting back in at the end of the year with the prime focus on this day, this event. Well, actually not this day because it got delayed again and again. It was originally supposed to be in February this year, but they pushed it back to April. And then 
about four or five weeks ago, they decided to push it back another two weeks due to some issues. So it's been a bizarre process of highs and lows emotionally, ups and downs, long periods of time of just training and working with the hope and the belief that I was able to come here and do what I've done today. The belief was definitely always there, but there's always that little seed of doubt because it's sport, you never know what is going to happen. You never truly know. But I've come out here, I set my target, my aim, my goal, and I've been able to achieve it. And firstly, it's, it's quite a relief. It's quite a weight off the shoulders because I can now look forward to this summer without any other stumbling blocks or without any further qualification to do. This has been five years of anticipation and stress leading to this moment and I can now look forward and say that I'm going to be at the Olympic Games for the second time. I'm so happy, I'm so proud of the work that I've done. I'm so thankful for my coach, for the people that have been around me, my teammates, my friends, my parents, everyone that's assisted me to get to this point in the journey. And I think the best thing about it, this is the journey continues, the journey of representing Jamaica in a sport like diving, the journey of trying to leave a legacy behind me, the journey of trying to create a new sport pretty much in Jamaica, you know, create a new culture. The journey can continue with success and with even more hope for more success in the future, because I still don't think I've reached my peak. There's still more to come from me. I know that for sure. When I'll find that, I don't know, but I'm going to keep on working until I find it. And hopefully it will allow me to create something lasting in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, for the sport of diving, the sport that's given me so much, so much joy, so many experiences traveling around the world, so many friends, so much pressure, but ultimately so much fun. And I want to be able to give that to other Jamaicans. So thank you to everyone for supporting me. Thank you for those that have been with me on this journey. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Good, good.